I spill my drink. Hey, Rich. Pete, how's work? Getting killed. Slept an hour last night. You're still in for this weekend, correct? Sunshine, beer-soaked beach house with pre-memorial day access, oversexed post-grad girls with bikini fetishes, no boyfriends, and even less morals. I think I can put in an appearance. Good. We need booze. I'll have the gallon-sized gin and tonic. Actually, we need you to get the booze. Can't. Too busy. I never mailed in the lease for the house. What? Or the down payment. You are very dumb. Don't start. I just got two earfuls of shriek from Grandma Rental Agent about this. Where are you? I'm about to get on the parkway. I'm headed there now to take care of all this. Can you handle the alcohol? Let's just get everything once we're down there. This isn't Mardi Gras, Pete, or college. Doors closed in the real world. Into now, or we stay sober all night. Let's not think about that. Ask somebody else. Everyone else has been drinking since 11 a.m. That forecasting software you wrote says they'll run out of booze by the time we get there. If Ferris finds out I left in the middle of the day... The faster you go, the better off we'll be. Also, I'm completely broke. I don't get paid till next week. Broke? I thought you guys got paid a fortune at that place. Yeah. Well, between various brook expenses, required game purchases, and last week at the blackjack tables, my checking account has seen some healthier days. Nice work losing that girlfriend, by the way. You're even starting to sound more fun. Thanks. We are desperate, Peter. Can't you borrow the cash from somebody in your office? Or ask your boss for an advance this week? Or go visit that worthless neighbor of yours, Gil. He owes you money, right? Ugh, right. What do we need? Beer. Six cases ought to do it. See if you can pick up some food while you're out, too. My car's busted, too. I walked to work this morning. Already taken care of. I sent Cal to your office. He should be there any time now. I'll get you where you need to go. Fine. This better be one hell of a party, my friend. I guess that all depends on you now, Peter. I'm already excited. to you. Hey, at least this is one place where we know what we're doing, right? Yep, sure is. Say, Thor, I need a favor. Myself, I try to stay as regular as possible, you know? Asynchronous outputs are for circuits, not people, I always say. Sounds good, Thor. Listen, I need to ask you something. I like to keep my movements pretty consistent. You know, BM in the PM, as they say. But today, I don't know. Something's not quite right. I hate you, Thor.
Hey, door. Darling, what are you going to ask me for? What do you mean? You're wearing your I need something face. All men have one. I need cash for this weekend. Big party or something? Come on, you were my age once. Yeah, four years ago, smartass. Pretty please? Sorry, Peter. As much as I'd enjoy discussing what you'd have to do for me in exchange for a line of credit, I'm afraid I'm waiting for payday as anxiously as you. Student loan police coming on a little strong these days? Phase? Hired thugs. Want to come to a party tonight? No thanks. I'm socializing with adults this weekend. Have fun. I hope you get your money somehow. Thanks. sales and marketing. Well, well, Peter Kent. Shouldn't you be working on Joe's new collision detection software? Well, I finished it already. Wow, I'm genuinely impressed. Well, I'd never have had the chance to work on something like that if it weren't for your superior salesmanship on the deal. <laughs> True enough. What's on your mind? I need to borrow some cash for this weekend. Ah, the weekend cash shortage. A problem as ageless as the weekend itself. Well? Hmm, tell you what. A new sales magazine was supposed to arrive for me this week, but I'm not sure where it is. I think it's in the office somewhere. Here's what it looks like. Bring me that periodical and you may find yourself a bit wealthier.
got 10 seconds, Kent. What is it? Well, Mr. Ferris, let me begin by saying that I've always considered you to be a fair and generous individual. Kent. Yes? Do I look like I'm in the mood for this? Not really. I want you to turn around, go back to your office, and get back to work. Understood? Yes, sir. You know, you're lucky. It's Friday, and after I get some scotch in me, there's a good chance I'll forget this happened. Same old. Compiling, testing, trying to keep Bernie's crap off the mail server. That fool will sign up for anything. No doubts here. You need to check on your equipment? No, Frank, you know my gear is solid. Say, you wouldn't happen to have some money you want to lend me, would you? The next check I get goes directly to my ex-wife. Along with the next check, and the next check, and the next... I think I get your meaning. Thanks anyway. I'm also looking for a sales magazine that looks like this. It's for Bernie. Well, you don't mind me saying so, Peter. I couldn't really give a good goddamn about whether or not Bernie has what he needs. Ordinarily, I'd agree, but right now, that thing's standing between me and a weekend for the record books. Have you seen it? Mm, possibly. I brought a bunch of crap down to my old office a while back, just to get it out of the way. Your old office? The one just through the burn-in room? That's the one. Except if you're smart, you stay out of there for the next few Remember that maze formation I had you implement there yesterday? Yeah. Interesting configuration, by the way. Anyway, I've got a top priority project running right now. The latest spider bot order. A special request from Ferris himself, so they can't be disturbed. That's not supposed to start until next week. The old man moved it up ahead of schedule. Testing locomotion, optical subsystems, threat assessment logic, security alarm procedures, the whole deal. You disturb those bots. They even get a glimpse of you, and old Ferris will be serving hors d'oeuvres from your hollowed-out skull at his next party. Don't worry. I'm young and spry. We changed the access code yesterday. New code 18755. But Pete, please, don't do anything stupid. Thanks for the info, Frank. I'll check it out.
Here's 60 bucks plus an extra 20 for the very salesman-like charm in your delivery. Superior salesmanship on the deal, indeed. I feel dirty. You get used to it. I don't know what they're talking about. I catch you screwing around one more time today, and you're suspended. Ugh. me. I've always got a few independent projects in the works. Anything to stay out of the databases, huh? Something like that. Although it's not always easy to resist when I see some of the benefits and freedoms you guys get. Yeah, it's a real carousel of riches. Speaking of which... Don't even bother asking, man. My piggy bank starved to death long ago. How's, uh, Brooke? You two still together? Not really. We're taking some time off at the moment. Sorry to hear that. What happened? She accused me of wanting to sleep with all of her friends. Do you? Yes, but I wasn't going to. Serves me right for letting her move in next door to me. Plans for the weekend? There's a big thing going on at Rich's summer place. I know, he briefed me on the whole affair, including his realtor troubles. Sounds tempting, but lamentably, I have other plans. I owed him a favor, though, so I'm here to help. What do we need? Six cases of beer. There's a place down in the Undermall. I've taken plenty of booze off their hands over the years. You could also try the Nearside Tavern downtown. You still regular there? Unfortunately for my liver, yes. I also need to stop by my place. I need to uh, rattle a neighbor until some money falls out. Nice. So, where are we going first? To the apartments. The apartments it is. Where are we headed, Peter? Let's... Hi. Whoa! Um, hi. You must be 2D. The name's Dennis. Peter. What makes you think I'm 2D? Educated guess. It's the only apartment here that doesn't regularly throw out piles of personally identifiable information. Yeah, I tend to be pretty careful. Speaking of which, I've never seen you around here before. I'm in town most days, but pick up here is tomorrow. 
and you guys occasionally have some decent products, so I thought I'd check things out locally this afternoon. Product? Anything that looks like it'll sell. Polish it up, post a listing, and ship it out. So you sell crap to people? Just me, my laptop, and the endless purchasing power of the world at large. To go with their endless supply of bad taste. Don't I know it? Hey, care to buy this nifty action figure I just found? It's in great shape. I can part with it for five dollars. Sure, why not? Who doesn't like toys? Many thanks. So, what brings you around these parts? Besides, you know, living here. I came to collect some money from Gil, the guy in 2B. That shouldn't be too hard. By the looks of his ATM receipts, he appears to be, well, loaded. Are you serious? Trust fund, my guess. He's a real pushover. Really now? Oh yeah, no spine at all. Tap him a little bit and he tips right over. Thanks, friend. Good luck. Good afternoon, Gil. What are you up to? 
Me? Oh, just questioning reality, man. Just questioning reality. Finally graduate to some real literature instead of the usual dreck? Huh? Never mind. Look, I need the 80 bucks you borrowed last week. Oh, this is not a good time for this. How about this? If you don't give me my 80 bucks, I will saw your leg off, and next week I make all your worthless stoner friends jealous with my new femur bomb. All right, all right. Here's your money. 80 bucks. Can we stop this now? I'm tired. I don't doubt it. Be good, Gil. Don't strain yourself. I got 80 bucks. A favorable outcome. Where to now? To the mini mall. No problem. Welcome to Terry Land Donuts, valued customer. I am an IRD retail service unit, model 400 SE. I know all about it. I was there when you were born. How may I assist you? You can empty your cash register into my pants. I'm sorry, I do not understand your request. Would you like to try one of our delicious new shuriken crullers? No thanks. Thank you, and from all of us in the Terry Land Donuts family, have a great weekend. A donut shop? Kind of obvious, isn't it? I'm here because there have been some reports of mischief in this mall recently. Like what? General mischief. Exploding frozen yogurt machines, pornography items left in the Christian bookstore, kids in weird costumes, that sort of thing. General Mischief sounds like a formidable foe. Would you be able to tell us anything at all that might help us? Sorry, officer. I haven't heard anything. If I do find out something, I'll be sure to contact the authorities right away. Please do. Thank you very much, citizen. Hey, Hank. How's business? 
good enough to keep the buyout offers at bay. Honest Hank, humble peddler of wares, never change. How are this month's imports? Nothing worth your time. <laughs> That's a switch. Things will pick up later this year. Enjoying the latest robot fighter title? Don't I always? If you're interested, the team who built it has a pretty decent online version out now as well. No thanks, I really don't have a crew to play with. And I'm not sharing with strangers. Understood. You wouldn't want to lend me some cash for this weekend, would you? Sorry, friend. I've got to earn a living myself, you know. True enough. All right, gotta go. I'm on a mission and I haven't met all my objectives yet. Good luck. Six cases of beer, please. Twenty dollars a case, one twenty total. I'll take the six cases for one twenty. There you go. Have a nice day. Thanks. I also need a bunch of food for a party. What's easiest? What kind of party? Young people. Drunk. Giant food bucket contains assorted tasties. Twenty bucks feeds an army. Sure, I'll buy one. Thanks. Come again. Rich. Hey, buddy, you fired up about tonight? Yeah, I can almost taste the whatever beer it is I just bought. Well, I hope you can control yourself because we're not done shopping. Why? One of our little dolls from tonight just called. She and her friends want wine. Oh, for God's sake. I know, it's ridiculous, but I told them it's no problem. I'm at the realty office now. Just grab three bottles of cheap nonsense and don't worry about a thing. I'm supposed to be at work right now. I know, isn't it great? I'm practically out of cash. What do you want me to do, sell my blood? We don't have that kind of time. I'll pay you back on Monday. Fine. They expressed an interest in some marijuana as well. Fine. Just be silent. One more thing. I just talked to Sally. She said that Brooke is supposed to get home in a little while. So? What should I do if I go home, avoid her? I'm not saying you can't handle your own on-again, off-again, estranged kind of pseudo-girlfriend. I'm just saying that if you're still short on cash... I am not borrowing money from that girl. The resultant head games would score off the charts. Whatever, man. Just do the best you can and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Come again. All it takes is a few punks to ruin a good neighborhood. More errands? <sighs> Rich seemed a little out of sorts when I talked to him today. I figured he'd have very little time to prepare for anything happening tonight. Yeah, well, now we need some sort of wine and some pot, too. Sounds like some bash. I like to bash that kid's head in. Do you have anything you can sell, you know, on the quick? Just my new copy of Super Smart Robot Fighters. This is bad. I vowed never to sell a game again after I sold my whole lot when I was in junior high. Ouch. I know. Boxes, manuals, everything. The remorse of a gaming purist. Oh well. Guess I'll have to buy a new copy sometime after this weekend. So, where are we going? To the Nearside Tavern. We're on our way.
What a charming little pub. Too bad they decided to install televisions. Such a shame. Guess I'll go someplace else. Afternoon, Ken. I'm so glad you decided to stop by to continue to give me crap about the TVs. Televisions ruin a bar, Chris. You know that. Dilutes the atmosphere. Like stretching kegs with water. It's strictly lowest common denominator stuff. Hasn't stopped you from showing up. That's different. I'm a problem drinker. You have problems, but drinking isn't one of them. Actually, today it kind of is. What do you mean? You sell wine by the bottle, right? Yeah. I'll take it. How much? 30 bucks a bottle. That's the cheapest you've got? Lowest common denominator, indeed. Yes or no? Not enough money yet. I'll be back. Where to, Pete? Let's stay here. Still need that. Not enough money. Where to, Pete? To the apartments. You got it. I don't know what this thing is, but I know an old lady in Florida. going to nope
Hey, man. I am in desperate need of cash for this weekend, and time is running out. I buy games, Pete. Got anything I might be interested in? Just... just my new copy of Super Smart Robot Fighters. The most I can give you is 15 bucks. So, do we have a deal? Might as well. Here you go. Thanks. I'll see that it gets a good home. Isn't there something else I can do to earn money around here? Drive a forklift, carry crates, anything? Actually, I could use some help with my game. Your game? I'm developing a first-person proof of concept called Ethical Treatment for the big industry trade show next month, and my last beta tester just flaked out on me. Skip to the part where I get money. The level that needs testing is a military science lab. Sounds interesting. Not really, but what say we make it interesting? Trash the experimental clones and get out in one piece. I'll pay you $45. How do I do that? The most straightforward way is to shut down the computer system which controls their life support. You'll know it when you see it. But there's an extra $10 in it for you if you can find an alternative method. Anything else I can do to earn some extra cash? Tell you what, since I'm feeling generous today, killing all the enemies nets you an additional 10 bucks and 10 more dollars if you save all the hostages. Weapons? You're going to be a bit shorthanded. What if I die? I'll give you the minimum, $45, but I want an honest effort. No game has ever gotten anything less from Peter Kent. I've got a copy running on a rig in the back. Log in as user game test, password beta 2. Remember, you've got to make it out alive to get credit for any goals. You can leave your stuff here. Happy hunting.
Nice work in there. 
Here's your $45 as promised, plus an extra $20 for wasting all the baddies and saving all the Xenos. Thanks, man. Hey, by the way, did you find any bugs while you were playing? Premise is a little stale. Thank you for your patronage. Thanks. Come again. Most of the new crop of role-playing games aren't working. Where are we headed? To the, the tavern. Still need that. I'll take the three bottles. This is not a tabable item, Kent. I know. I'll pay cash now. See you next week. What could you possibly want now? Not a thing, my man. Taxi just dropped me off back in town. And? We're all set. Meet me at your place and we'll get going. Where do you need to go? To the apartments. The apartments it is. Uh-oh. Oh no. What the hell? What rule can we possibly be breaking? Hey, it's a good thing you held off snagging that pot. That's not the best thing for a cop to find in the car. Is it too late to mention I'm behind the wall breaks? Exploding yogurt machines? Every week, my guy inside purloins the security camp footage. We're talking to studios about a feature length. <sighs> Some people's kids. Here we go. Afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, it's that kid from the mall. Have we done something wrong, officer? Is there a reason why you weren't wearing a seatbelt? Sorry, sir. I generally try to comply with all current motor vehicle rules and regulations. Well, sorry don't rewheel the wagon, Junior. What does that mean? What's all that stuff in the back seat? What's all what stuff? That's a lot of beer and wine. You've been drinking today. We're on our way to a party, which, at this point, better be the best goddamn party in history. Nice try. All right, out of the car. We're already out. I'll ask the questions here if you don't mind. We're going to perform a little sobriety test right now. I want you to walk the straight lines in this parking lot. Wait, you seem like a smart guy. I'm sure we can come to some kind of understanding. Thirty-five bucks gets you a free pass this round, lawbreaker. Fine. Here's your money. Smart choice. And remember, I've got my eye on you. Drive safely. Good news, bad news. Why don't we start with my bad news? Well, let's see. So far today, I've had to run all over my office for Bernie, visit Gil's disgusting apartment, sell off my favorite new video game, and get hassled by some skinny cop. That game had new robots in it, Rich. Here we go. Can I tell you what happened? Please, tell me what happened. I had five bottles of liquor for tonight, but I had to give it all to the realtor in exchange for letting us slide on being so late with the rent. Along with the rest of the money, too. You had to... The woman's like 70 years old! Apparently, her rise to the top of the realty game was due in large part to her deal-making skills. She could have dumped us completely, you know. Whatever. Your fault. 
Might I remind you that my share in this house is twice as much as yours? Protocol demands that you take an active role in the procurement of supplies. Fine. So we need booze, but we have no money. Correct. Well, we've got two options. See if Nearside Chris will give us a credit on some liquor, or... Or what? What's the second option? What is it? What? My boss, Rich. My boss has a stash of booze. The perfect stash of booze. In his office. You'd be a legend. You'd be such a legend. You have no idea. I cannot believe what my life has become. Oh, and also, let's see if we can get more girls to come down with us. I think I can make a few phone calls. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Did you come here to dump me again? I did. I was just going to wait for you to start completely smothering me first. Shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes, right? I don't see what the big deal is about wanting to be more involved in your life. There's just no need for us to spend every moment together. Nobody's talking about getting married. What are all these bridal magazine subscriptions? Those were gifts. Why are you here anyway? I need to borrow $85 for this weekend. Ha! Huh. It's for a party at Rich's house tonight. You're welcome to come if you're not too busy being insane. I heard all about your little hit on other girls all night party from Sally. I think I'll pass. You know I'm not a smooth enough talker for that sort of thing, and I'll pay you back the money. Now who's insane? I can tell when you're lying. Out of your mind. Are you having trouble with the commitment? Is that it? No one is more committed to commitment than me. Then what's the deal with us, Peter? I am totally in love with you. We should get back together. Officially? Well, I'm not a public notary or anything, but sure, I guess. I'm holding you to that. Here's your money. Minus ten dollars disingenuous tax. I need a little money for tonight. Where are you going that you can survive the whole night on ten bucks? Maybe it's some place where I don't have to buy my own drinks. I'll talk to you on Monday, Brooke. Bye, Peter. Trust me, this weekend will be worth it. Where to? To the near side tavern. We're on our way. Trust me, this weekend will be worth it. So, how do you feel about kissing? No thanks, rather die. Crash and Bernie strikes again. Nice work. Eat it, Kent. Peter Kent, the swashbuckling breaker of hearts himself? How are you? Oh, God. On behalf of those of us who stop working once in a while, I bid you welcome to the outside world. Why are you here? Shouldn't you and Brooke be off somewhere talking about how much you both hate me? I was waiting for this guy to take me to this club tonight, but I guess he decided not to show up. Still can't seem to attract any non-jerks, eh? They speak, and I can't help myself. What about you? Oh, right, I heard you're off to your little weekend getaway.
you know, you look great tonight. Beautiful, really you do. I was wondering if you'd like to join us tonight. <sighs> Peter, when will you learn the nice guy routine isn't going to get you anywhere with the ladies? Sounds like a no. Sorry, lad. I guess I'll go find some frat boy to molest tonight instead. Always a pleasure, Sally. Go on, get out of here already. Hi. What kind of beers do you have on tap? I like you, Peter, but seriously, the next person I have to hear it from about this outfit is gonna get cock punched. Sorry, Janie. It's just so bizarre to see you out of punk mode. May I politely ask why you're dressed like a waitress at a chain restaurant? Oh, no. Started two days ago. I could no longer endure the poor. Prognosis? Actually, it's not too bad. The people are all pretty decent. You know, hardworking, honest types. The kind of people I respond to. It beats temping for corporate phonies. Why is everyone so down on companies today? I never knew using a computer and a desk made me such a bad guy. Sorry. Working tomorrow? Nope. Weekend off. Good answer. Why? Oh, right. First night at the party palaces tonight. You want to do yourself a favor? Pretty yourself up and come to our party tonight. Well, since you asked so nicely, no. What? How come? Haven't you been listening to a word I've said? Next time, don't be so rude. Hello, Pete. Uh, I don't. There's no. Though I need. To, huh. It's for. I. You know. I, oh, ow. Are you having? No. Then. I. Well, I Where are we headed? To the sounds. So. No. Nope. Crash and eat it. Peter Kemp, the swashbuckling breaker of hearts, him <sighs> on behalf of Fire. I was waiting. Still can't. They speak. You want to do yourself a favor? Pretty yourself up and come to our party tonight. I can't explain it, but for some reason a part of me wants to accept that offer. Well, in or out. All right, I'll go. But there better be plenty to drink. Yikes. I think you were more like than I thought. Hi. I... Sorry. Oh. Started to... Prog act... Why is it... Sorry. Working to... Nope. Good. Why? You know? Well, since you asked so nicely, no. What? How come? Haven't you been listening to a word I've said? Next time, don't be so rude. I need five full bottles of hard liquor. Should I even bother asking? Is there some kind of apocalypse coming up that I haven't heard about? Why on earth do you need all this? It's what young people do. Hard liquor, yes or no. No, freak show, we're not a wholesaler. Crap wine is one thing, but I'm not about to send you out of here with cases of the good stuff. That makes me sad. Probably a lesbian anyway. Where have you been all afternoon? Almost a hundred years after pinball was first outlawed, and we've still got people blaming games for whatever they hate. I need a drink. I probably should have changed my clothes before I came out tonight. I probably should have changed... Thanks. Come again. Trust me. Where to, Pete? To... Okay.
How do I look? Trust me, this weekend will be worth it. Where would you like to go? To the office. Excellent. Pete! Ferris has been looking for you all afternoon. He's not happy. What are you doing down here? Ah, Ferris caught me working late and sent me home. Wouldn't even let me finish bringing my new testing supplies down to the workshop. He made me leave them in Thor's office where the delivery man dropped them off. Yeah, at least we're getting some use out of the space. What about you? Why the 11th hour return? I, um, need to get something. Out of Ferris's office. You don't mean... You won't tell on me, will you? No, I'm no rat. You're out of your mind. I'm just thirsty. He'll skin you alive if he catches you. The boss fight is always the toughest part of the game. Well, if you're going up, take these. You may need them. Night vision? I was going to search for some legal documents at my ex-wife's new place later tonight. I'm going to have to explain that on a witness stand one day, aren't I? You sure you want to do this? Once you go up, there's no turning back. Yes, I'm sure. You sure you're sure? Did you knock it off already? I'm going. Well then, you'd better hurry. He's in the john right now. I know. I've worked enough late nights to know it takes him exactly five minutes to take his evening dump. He's got the metal detector on, Pete. Metal detector. Got it. Be careful. Young and spry, Frank. Young and spry.
I got the booze! <sighs> nice work! I told you this would have a good ending. I guess I am rather extraordinary, aren't I? Driver, take us to a well-deserved celebration. Pass me that bottle opener.